India possesses an enormous array of incredible ancient architectural accomplishments. Mind-boggling feats of ancient engineering, many of which continue to mystify modern explorers and elude modern understandings. Exquisite details displaying prodigious artistic abilities and accuracy. Ancient stone carvings, which seem all but impossible, yet here they are for all to see. We have in the past explored many of these sites. We have explored the similarities and tool marks found at other sites all over the world. The now lost methods which were utilized to once carve entire temples from a single block of bedrock. We have also investigated the many temples constructed from quarried stones, temples which possess columns seemingly created on laves, yet many of these pieces weigh in excess of six tons. Just how these feats were accomplished remains a complete mystery. And our next architectural anonymy is of no exception. According to mainstream academics, Virabhadra Temple was built by the brothers Varana and Varupana which were governors under the Vijayaranga Empire during the reign of King Achutaraya within the 16th century. Located in the village of Lepakshi, a significant place in the great Indian epic Ramayana, legend has it that the bird Jatayu, wounded by the king of Lanka, fell here after a futile battle against the king. When Rama reached the spot, he saw the bird and said compassionately to him, Lepashki, meaning Arise Bird in Telugu. Although the temple is claimed as the work of said brothers, just like that of many other incredible, inexplicable sites throughout the world, any explanation as to how they achieved this incredible feat remains elusive. Additionally, there is one feature in particular which not only remains unexplained, but its past purpose or perhaps more importantly, how this feature was successfully created remains unknown. Known as the Hanging Pillar of Lepachki, it is a column which initially appears to be a weight-bearing structure. However, on closer inspection, one discovers that this column is in fact set aloft, with its significant weight somehow being dispersed along the temple's roof. It is as if the builder of said temple created the column as a statement, a display of their incredible abilities and architectural skills. The column seemingly serves no function other than to display the capabilities of the temple's builder. It is as if they were simply showing off. Furthermore, along with a past purpose remaining elusive, just how the temple's inner structure actually supports the weight of the column is also an unknown. How can one be expected to believe that a temple such as this, located among many of India's other astonishing ruins, one which possesses clear displays of complex, advanced, and in-depth understandings of load-bearing architecture, along with the majority of its existence currently unexplained, was supposedly built by one of our well-studied ancestors a mere 500 years ago? How can one accept this as a logical explanation for its origins? The Hanging Pillar of Lepashki is clearly an incredible work of ancient engineering, one that, although claimed as the work of known ancestors, remains largely unexplained. It is a temple which we find highly compelling.